Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be checking out 10 ways to get banned in Haiti. Now, losing your farm could be one of the worst nightmares in the game because the pain is unrealistic. So first of all, the first thing that I want to make clear that it's not about being good or being bad. It's about breaking the rules and breaking the terms of services of the supercell. That's when you get banned because I've seen so many people getting banned and then they say, why am I banned? I didn't even do anything wrong. See, it's not about doing wrong or doing good. It's about breaking the terms and services. So I will be putting the link below that you guys must read because there's so many information in that. But anyways, let's get started with the video. Number one, inappropriate neighborhood chat. Now, this is something very common. You must have seen this um, a lot of the times. There's some trolls, there's some haters in the game that use inappropriate and offensive language. For example, they use hate language, um, racism, any kind of discriminatory language, obscene. They're threatening someone, they're harassing someone, they're swearing, bullying, or just any kind of improper language. So once you see someone doing this, all you have to do is to press the report button in the game. For example, you guys can see there is a report button. So once you report someone for inappropriate language, they will be checked by the moderators at the Haiti team. They will actually see the neighborhood chat. And once they see there's something wrong, they can put you on a ban. So number one thing, don't use inappropriate language. Like here you guys can see your account has been banned for two days due to inappropriate language. Repeated offenses could lead to a permanent ban of your account. So you may not get permanently banned at first, but if you keep doing the same thing again and again, you can get permanent ban. So don't do this. Number two is buying cheap diamonds and coins from different websites. Now, this is something you must have seen in different YouTube videos, comments, and even on social medias, people share different links to the websites that claim to give you a, a lot of diamonds and coins on a pretty much a lot of discounts. So it's all scam. It's kind of hack. It's not true. So don't get trapped. They basically get your personal information and then they use that information for doing inappropriate things. And even if you buy diamonds from those websites, it's still against Supercell in terms of services and that can get you a ban or luckily if you don't get banned they will give you negative diamonds so for example in this picture you guys can see there are negative diamonds and if this happens you will have to get more diamonds to spend real money and to get back to your normal value and i think it's insane as well so don't get in the trap of a different illegal website claiming to selling diamonds or coins Number three is selling or buying different accounts. Now, imagine you're scrolling through social media and you see someone claiming to selling a level 300 Haiti farm and you're like, oh my gosh, level 300 farm, I need that. And that person is saying, farm for free, message me. So that's another scam because what these people mostly do, they um, they give you account, but they also share this account with other people. So that's also against the terms of services. Are you never sure that who that actual person is? They may never give you the farm or maybe they're still using that farm. So like that could also get banned. So there are so many negative points about buying or selling your account. And this goes against Supercell's terms of conditions and that can also get you permanently banned. Number four is sharing your account with other people. Now, what I mean by sharing is not that you cannot share the game with your cousins, with your brothers in the same place or in the same room. Well, what I mean by sharing is that you cannot share your game with other people living 300 miles away from you. So if you guys remember, BDR has been banned because he shared his account. So that's very suspicious. Like you cannot really get in one minute from India to America. So that's really something suspicious. So that's what I mean by sharing. So once you share your account with other people, Supercell will notice something suspicious and they will put you on a ban. And most of the times it's a permanent ban, but if you're lucky, they can also give you a temporary ban as a warning. For example, here you guys can see your account has been banned for 31 days due to account sharing. Sharing your login information with others is against Supercell's terms of services. Repeated offenses will lead to a permanent ban of your account. Now, why people share their accounts? Well, basically, most of the high-level players do this. They want to get um, advantages. They want to get a lot of benefits. They want to stay on the top. And they just want their game to progress so fast. So that's why they share their account. And this is illegal it's an unfair way to get progress in the game so never share your account with any other person 
Number five is phishing the account. Now, phishing technically means when somebody else is asking you to recover their account. So on their behalf, you contact Supercell team and you try to, you know, get back your farm. Or even if you've lost your farm or you haven't played it for a long time, then you try to get it back. And if you put the information wrong so many times, Supercell will think it's kind of suspicious and then they will put you on a ban. But if you think they've done something wrong, you can also contact them from in-game and you can tell them that, hey, I was just trying to recover my own farm. And if you give them proper information, they will ask you a bunch of questions. And if they find that you're true or you're not doing anything illegal, they will get you your farm back. But if not, then I'm sorry, you just lost your farm. Number six is inappropriate or offensive farm name. Now, this is also um, a little bit close to the inappropriate chat. So what some people do, some people try to make fun of others by putting negative names and weird names against somebody's religion, against somebody's race, or they're just trying to, you know, threatening someone, they're bullying someone. So the same goes with banning the account. If somebody finds out that you're bullying them, you're threatening them, they can report you to the Supercell. And once you get reported to Supercell, there's no way that you are surviving. They will put you on a permanent ban. So please don't use inappropriate farm. Um, if you hate somebody, go talk to them in private, resolve your problems. You don't have to hate someone in the game. You don't have to bully someone. Okay, just chill. Because if you did, you will get your farm permanently banned. So here you guys can see your account has been banned permanently due to inappropriate name. So don't use inappropriate names. The seventh way to get banned is not only using the glitches in the game. Now glitches are the part of the game and most most of the time something goes wrong in the server of the game and the glitches come. So for example, there have been so many glitches in the game and let's take an example of 2018's glitch. So in May 2018, the glitches were on the peak and one glitch gave a people a lot of barn tools. So they used to go to somebody's farm and they used to get barn tools. So a lot of the people actually upgraded their barn really fast with that thing. And then their farms got permanently banned by Supercell. So they got really furious. They started, um, you know, doing writing to Supercell by saying that, hey, please unban us. But the thing is, it's against their terms of services. It's against their rule, as I said. I mean, I think it's kind of fine to use the glitch, but it's against their rules. So you will get banned. So next time when there's a glitch in the game, report to Supercell. Don't use it because you can get banned. The eighth way to get banned in Haiti is by using mods and bots or upgrading your barn and silo very, very quickly. So you guys know what the bots are. They're basically everywhere in the paper. They're automated systems that harvest me 24 and they just keep collecting a lot of expansion materials and then people who are using those bots they actually sell those expansion materials for real money stuff like that so this thing is against supercell terms of conditions so if you use bots or mods on your main farm supercell will find out that you're doing something suspicious and they will not see that you've been playing fairly as it's against their rules they will put you on a permanent ban because you use the bots and farms so the bots are actually everywhere in the paper and supercell actually ban a lot of bot farms every day but the thing is they just come back again and again that's why they introduced the 80 limit so using any kind of illegal cheating hacking mods and bots any kind of illegal thing this is against their terms of services and you can get permanently banned the number nine way to get banned in haiti is pretty much similar to the inappropriate chat and farm name is inappropriate neighborhood description so the same goes with the haters with the trolls they will go to any limit to troll you they will put offensive discriminatory language against your religion, against your beliefs. So they will, you know, just write here anything bad, anything offensive. So once they get reported, once Supercell finds out in any way that you're doing this, and they will um, get all the information of your farm, and they will put you on a ban. Now, before doing any kind of these things, remember, Supercell is not stupid. Okay, you're playing their games. When you open a game, all your data goes to them. They can find out literally everything of yours in minutes so next time before doing anything illegal in the game remember supercell is watching you so please play safe and play fair now the tenth the last but not the least way to get banned in haiti is by using an offensive farm design or an offensive layout so some people try to be very creative and they're just like hating someone 
they make really bad symbols, improper, inappropriate symbols or inappropriate designs, or even they write something really bad that's not supposed to be in the game. So whatever you do, whatever you make a design that's illegal, that's bad, inappropriate, that's offensive, this can also get you permanently banned. So please don't make a bad design. Make a good design, okay? Like I do, I'm actually pretty much a good of a designer. So that's how you can also get banned by making an offensive design of your farm. So here you guys can see your account has been banned for two days due to offensive layout. Repeated offenses could lead to a permanent ban of your account. And here you guys can see this account has been banned due to use and our interaction with illegal third-party software, which are mods, bot farms, and kind of hacking, which is a violation to our terms of services, so you can get banned. These were the 10 main ways to get banned in Haiti, but there's so many other ways you can also get banned. For example, you're not supposed to be doing Supercell stuff impersonation, you're not supposed to be doing refund abuse, you're not supposed to be encouraging other people to break these rules, or even if you use the in-game chat for advertising, spamming, or scamming, you can also get banned. So please, please, please play fair, play safe. It's so much fun to play safe. I mean, this game is just like a home of yours. You can literally make anything you want. So I think it's it's such a cool game. But anyways, those were the some main ways to bend in Haiti. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, I would love to read. Leave them in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you don't miss out any more future Haiti videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!